following is a News Age special presentation on WROC. Vision's Federal Credit Union and Roberts Wesleyan College present the Class of 2020 Honor Roll Graduation Special. Please welcome News Aides Adam Chodak and Maureen McGuire. Good evening and welcome to our Senior Salute event where we celebrate the high school seniors in the class of 2020. These graduates have missed out on a lot. As a global pandemic took off, their senior year took a back seat. No school, no prom, and in many cases, no physical graduation ceremony. And that's why tonight we'll hear from valedictorians and class representatives from some of our local schools. We'll also listen to messages from prominent Rochesterians past and present who have encouraging words for these graduates who've been through so much. First, we start with Pamela Melroy, former NASA astronaut and Bishop Kearney High School alum. Hello, I'm Pam Melroy, proud Rochester native and former NASA Space Shuttle Commander. And I'm here today to wish the heartiest congratulations to the class of 2020. I am so proud of all that you've achieved. It's interesting as I reflect on my career and I realize that the moments that gave me the most pride are very similar to this moment for you. Those achievements that took years of intellectual effort and personal growth. I'm thinking, of course, of my space shuttle missions which took years of training, practice, rehearsal over and over and over again for particularly complicated parts of the mission. And one of the things that I think you're probably feeling now that I felt too, even in space, was at the moment of your success, a little bit of a bittersweet feeling. Sweet, of course, because you were successful, but a little bitterness too because you realize that's the last time you're going to do that complicated spacewalk. It's the last time that you'll do that particularly tricky robotic maneuver. The last time that you'll attach a new piece to the space station. And so there's a sense of sadness that comes with that as you realize that it's over. But remember that it wouldn't be sad if it wasn't awesome. <laughs> so if you're feeling a little bittersweet as you think about the end of your time, that's really okay. It makes a lot of sense. I felt the same way. And I have to say that the sweet part that stays with you forever is the tremendous relationships and friendships that you formed over time. So it's been a a pretty difficult spring. COVID-19 has changed our society and our culture and the way that we do things in order to stay safe. And I'm disappointed for you because I know many of the special traditions and joyous celebrations that you expected to have in the second half of your final year of school couldn't go forward in exactly the same way. And, and I know that's disappointing and I'm disappointed for you. But you know, I don't really feel sorry for you either. And that's because grief and disappointment is a normal part of life. And we grow through it. And in particular, in grief, that's how we grow compassion, how we grow empathy for others and kindness. And so don't rush away from grief in your life and the disappointments because they are what make you a better person. And speaking of being a better person, you've had uh, tremendous challenges throughout your years to prepare for this moment. So you've had to overcome, uh, you've had hard times, you've had fun times. Uh, and one thing that you have learned is the resilience and the grit to hang in there and keep going. There, there are always challenging times in everything that we do and, and difficult times, but they just make the victory all the sweeter. I'm thinking very much right now about the end of the space shuttle program, which was in 2011. And uh, that was, uh, that was hard to, to see this beautiful spacecraft be retired. But I'm so excited 
that almost a decade later, here we are finally launching humans from the United States again. And boy, that feels fantastic to me. So I, I really see it as uh, the, uh, the, the hard times just make the victory sweeter. And it is very sweet for you today as you graduate and you go forward. I am really proud of all the Rochester area graduates and everything that you've achieved uh, in a particularly difficult year, especially. And I can't wait to see what you're going to do in the future as you launch into the world. Congratulations. Now, three students graduating from local high schools this year. Ashlyn LeBaron of Charles D'Amico High School, Casey Walicki of Honeyoy Falls Lima High, and Ciamara Caballero of Byron Virgin High School. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Ashlyn LeBaron, and I'm the valedictorian at Charles D'Amico High School in Albion, New York. Let me first just say congratulations on your graduation. This is no small achievement, and you deserve every bit of recognition. Going into our senior year, no one imagined only having half of our senior year or not being able to attend our own graduation. These times that we are in have changed our world, but they have also changed us. I believe each of us will rise out of this situation stronger than how we went into it. These trials have shown that we have the worth ethic and determination to work through any kind of situation. And we made it. We had the perseverance and diligence to overcome obstacles that no other graduating class had to face and we reached the same finish line with our diploma in hand. It is because of this that I believe our class will go on to change the world whether we are entering into the workforce, continuing on our education in college, or serving our country in the military. We will be the ones to bring about new medical and technological innovations, creating more ways of efficient communication, and will revolutionize the way we do everyday life. And we will be advocates for social justice. We will be world changers. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am honored to represent my school, Hanoi Falls Lima, and share this message to you all. The class of 2020 has experienced quite a difficult and unusual end to our time in school. However, we are receiving more recognition and honor toward our class than we could have ever dreamed of. Our generation has endured so much from being born in the aftermath of 9-11 to beginning our first years of education during a recession, then witnessing the negative effect of mass shootings across the world, and finally entering the world as adults during a pandemic. Yet, these are all events we can learn and improve from, and we cannot forget all the good that has occurred during our lifetime, including a surge in activism to raise awareness for the health of our planet and an increased awareness for social justice. But one must remember that there is still so much more to be done, and now it is our turn as we bring new minds and skills to the world to make our positive impact and just to make our planet a better place to be. So I congratulate you all on all the hard work you've completed to get this far, and I encourage you not to stop there as we are only getting started. Happy graduation, class of 2020. My name is Yamada Caballero, and I'm valedictorian of Byron Bridgen's class of 2020. I first of all want to congratulate all of the seniors out there. You've worked hard over the years to get where you are today, and you deserve all the recognition that you're getting for your perseverance. These past few months have been especially difficult, but we've pushed through them and came out of it stronger. We didn't get the senior year that we imagined, and we've had to miss out on many cherished experiences and traditions. But for better or worse, this quarantine has given most of us more free time than we know what to do with. During this time, I've definitely done my fair share of catching up on sleep, but I've also taken time to reflect. I've taken a look at my past, my present, and most importantly, what I want with my future. Here's two things that have stuck out at me. One, I've heard stories all over of people using this time both to better themselves and to explore their interests. I myself have been trying to learn some sign language, but it's important that you take time to do what makes you happy, whether that's finding new music, reading, learning a new skill, coding, gardening, whatever you want. It's just important that you continue to grow and learn. 
too. I think that we all see that there's some injustice in this world. Whether that's the faults in society that this pandemic has exposed, or the racial inequality that's been put into the spotlight recently. People have been speaking out about these things. They've been working for change. Our generation has so much power, we can be the change that we want to see in this country. So stay strong and fight for what you believe in. I hope that once the quarantine is over, you all continue working to improve both yourselves and the world around you. Thank you, and I can't wait to see what our future holds. Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Oz. I hope you're enjoying this salute to the class of 2020 and WROC. Congratulations on managing to get through the school year in some challenging times. I wish you the best as you go forward. Stay strong, stay smart. You can do great. To the class of 2020, I'm Jane Pauley. On behalf of everyone here at Sunday Morning, congratulations and best of luck. Wherever the road ahead takes us, 2020 will be the class that led the way. This is the Visions Federal Credit Union and Roberts Wesleyan College Class of 2020 Honor Roll Graduation Special on WROC. Partners like Visions Federal Credit Union are so important to the work that David's Refuge does in this community. A community that Visions is a part of and committed to helping. Since 2012, we have worked to provide respite services, resources, and support to parents of children with special needs or life-threatening illnesses. Our goal is to empower caregivers to lead their families with strength and grace. And we're able to do all of this because Visions cares. Whether you choose the theater, the gallery, or the lab, choose design, science, technology, or all of the above. No matter which path you choose, GCC gives you the tools to start your next journey. Because when you choose GCC, your time is now. Rochester, we're AP Plumbing. From Greece to Canandaigua, wherever you may be, we are too. You've seen our trucks everywhere, and we're coming to a neighborhood near you. <laughs> AP Plumbing, proudly serving our community for over 30 years. During these times when local news matters, News 8 on WROC is the fastest growing evening and late local news. And we thank you. At Mazda of West Ridge, we're glad to be back giving you the world-class buying experience you expect, even if it's just a bit different for now. It's why we've been presented one of Mazda's highest honors, the President's Club, because our approach is always customer first. So come see us and experience a new Mazda CX-5 for just $2.29 a month. World-class President's Club service. It's why we're the highest volume Mazda dealer in Rochester. Try something better. Premium brand, premium experience. Move up to Mazda at Mazda of West Ridge. Getting back out there? Nissan is ready to help you with a bold, award winning lineup and great offers. Kick off summer with a low $189 per month lease on the 2020 Nissan Rogue. Or lease the 2020 Nissan Sentra just $149 per month. Hi, to the class of 2020, I'm Time Muse, President and CEO of Visions Federal Credit Union, and it's my privilege say congratulations. I'm just so proud. The Visions Federal Credit Union and Roberts Wesleyan College Class of 2020 Honor Roll Graduation Special continues on WROC. Welcome back to our Salute to High School Seniors. He's a Super Bowl champion and he's from Rochester. Roland Williams now lives in Los Angeles. And his message to the Class of 2020, take all the hits life dishes out. Hey, what's up, graduates of 2020? It's Roland Williams reaching out all the way from Los Angeles with a message for you. 
Now, I know this is not the way you planned on ending your last year of high school. I know. Not fun at all. But I want to tell you that if there's anything I learned during my eight years playing in the NFL, if there's anything I learned through the season we went to win the Super Bowl, it was this. The game doesn't always look good, but the outcome can still be amazing. The game may not always go pretty and perfect, but at the end, you can win. When I talk to my sons about COVID-19 and what it's been like being at home for all this time, I keep on trying to remind them that there's opportunities throughout this challenge. My challenge to each and every one of you as you head on with the rest of your lives is to always look for the opportunity to get better no matter what situation is thrown your way. Life is a marathon. It's a long game. You're only in the first quarter. There's plenty of time left on the clock for you to win the game I look forward to seeing each and every one of you being successful at whatever you want to do in your life, okay? Congratulations, all you graduates, all you hardworking educators, folks at the front lines in my hometown. I love all of you. I look forward to seeing everybody soon. God bless. Now, more valedictorians share their messages of hope with their peers. Emily Field of Greece Olympia and Emma Noble of East Arondicoid High School. Hi, I'm Emily Fields, a graduating senior from Greece Olympia. As our senior year came to an unexpected end, it's hard to grasp that high school is really over without all the usual closure experiences. But instead of looking back and being downhearted for what we miss, wishing we had just one more day, we can look back and be forever more grateful for each day we did have. We now realize every moment is precious, and we will be more appreciative of every little moment in this life. We are stronger, more resilient, and better equipped to take on everything that comes at us through our lives. We are ready to start our futures, but we'll always have the bonds created through these unique times. Thank you to all our staff for their support through the years, to the community for your empathy, to friends and family for your love always. I'm extremely proud to say I got to be part of the class of 2020 and wish everyone the best of luck in all they do. Hello, I'm Emma Noble, valedictorian for the East Ridge Senior Class. Thank you for this opportunity to speak to the class of 2020. When looking back at the past four years, I try to think about what experiences shaped our view on each other and the world. It's easy to think of the simple moments that make us who we are. Our first football game, performing in your first high school musical, the day you met your best friend, or the day you found your first love. All of these are memories we hope to keep forever. What is difficult is looking at the hard moments that have shaped us into who we are. Over the past four years, a few of us have lost a fam family member. Some of us has lo have lost a teacher. And for my class, all of us lost a friend. We witnessed the Parkland High School shooting where we lost a part of our class of 2020. We are living the pandemic where we have lost not only our physical, but our emotional health. And we've lost George Floyd and countless other black lives through unspeakable injustice. Each of these events have become a part of our identities. We use them not only to reflect on our weaknesses, but to strengthen ourselves as we move forward to the future. We were born at the time of 9-11, and though we didn't know it at the time, we were destined to be the, to be the class of change. We changed when we walked out in the snow and protested school shootings, feeling the sorrow of lives lost, but telling ourselves this is not the end of their story. We are changing during the pandemic as we practice social distancing to keep our loved ones safe, even though it breaks our hearts to lose our senior year and our ability to say a much needed goodbye. We are there seeking change with the Black Lives Matter movement, protesting for the rights to be treated equally after centuries of racism and bigotry. Uh, if I've learned anything from this class, it's that we are there for each other in times of need, and we will be there in times to have change to come. We have the class of 2020, and the future is ours. Congratulations. I'm Nora O'Donnell, and I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. While this school year probably didn't end quite as you were expecting, we still wanted to take a minute to salute you on your many tremendous achievements as you move on to the next chapter. We know it's taken a lot of hard work to get to this point. And so from all of us at the CBS Evening News, congratulations, class of 2020. Good luck 
and all the best. Hey, Class of 2020, I'm Anthony Mason. Congratulations from everyone here at CBS this morning. I know this has proven to be a challenging year, but don't let it dim your light. You've accomplished so much already, and we can't wait to see you overcome any obstacles that may lie ahead. You're going to lead us into the future. You've made it this far. Best of luck on the road ahead. This is the Visions Federal Credit Union and Roberts Wesleyan College Class of 2020 Honor Roll Graduation Special on WROC. Partners like Visions Federal Credit Union are so important to the work that David's Refuge does in this community, a community that Visions is a part of and committed to helping. Since 2012, we have worked to provide respite services, resources, and support to parents of children with special needs or life-threatening illnesses. Our goal is to empower caregivers to lead their families with strength and grace. And we're able to do all of this because Visions cares. Our lives are filled with seconds, and those seconds are marking minute-by-minute minute moments that are constantly in formation. But at Roberts, we are for transformation. We are all being formed, changed, molded, and developed into something we are all becoming. Being drawn to a life of more, what if we can align the distance between our heart and mind and truly discover all that our lives had in store? Wrigley's really enjoying the sunshine here today, and we got some great product on the high-end side as well. Like this 2017, this is a C300 all-wheel drive. Beautiful car with low miles, 12,000 miles. Or we have this 2012 Mercedes S550 with only 56,000 miles. Call me today at 266-9000 or just come to West Henrietta Road. the calling to care for others, then you have the Caring Gene. Join the healthcare workforce at caringgene.org. It's the Great Comfort Give Back. We're giving back to you with extreme savings on the best windows and bath remodels in New York. Get an unheard of 20% off plus a 5% comfort stimulus discount. Make no payments till 2021. Beth Parlato can't be trusted. False negative ads. Lies about President Trump. We need real leaders like Chris Jacobs and President Trump to get our economy back on track. Chris Jacobs is a job creator. He'll get tough with China and bring jobs back home. He fights for Western New York jobs. President Trump gave Chris Jacobs his complete and total endorsement. Trump approved. Chris Jacobs for Congress. I'm Chris Jacobs and I approve this message. Is the everyday stress of life wearing you down? Think it's time for a vacation? Wilkins RV, the area's number one RV dealer, is ready to put you on the road to recreational fun during its grand reopening savings event going on now. Visit any one of our four great locations or shop us online at WilkinsRV.com. The Visions Federal Credit Union and Roberts Wesleyan College Class of 2020 Honor Roll Graduation Special continues on WROC. Our next guest speaker is Ty Muse. Ty is the CEO of Visions Federal Credit Union. He has a positive message for the class of 2020. Hi, to the class of 2020, I'm Ty Muse, President and CEO of Visions Federal Credit Union, and it's my privilege to say congratulations. I'm just so proud of you and your accomplishments. You know, I know it's been a very trying year. I know that I, it's not exactly what you were hoping for or expected. But with that said, that's the way life is. I think on a lot of levels, this has prepared you for the real world. I can tell you I'm one of your biggest fans. I, I, I follow uh, the different students in my area and, and your accomplishments and your, your ingenuity and your ability to adapt is just set you up to be in a perfect position to be successful in life. So with that said, as I give you my major kudos and tip my hat to you, I just want to say that as you kind of go through life and you're thinking about your next moves, I just want you to realize that you're ahead of the curve. Just stay positive. Try to focus on the things you can control. Try to take advantage of the opportunities that are before you and then work to help one another. I think sometimes we forget about that. I think sometimes we get so focused on our life 
and focused on our current needs, that sometimes we forget the most basic thing as a human being is to help one another. And that is one thing that I can tell you that I consistently have seen from such an amazing group of kids. And as you kind of take the next phase in your life, the things that you've been putting out there on social media in regards to all the crazy things that are going on in this world, um, the way that you kind of enacted and mobilized when COVID came in, um, I just see this the very best for you. And I can't wait to see what you do next. So with that said, it may not be the perfect graduation that you thought, but you are the perfect generation to make it happen. I think that the world is your oyster. I think you guys can do anything you want, and I can't wait to watch and see what you do next. So, where's that start? Tomorrow is the beginning of the next phase of your life. I know you, some of you might be a little bit you know, nervous about that, but I'm hoping you're more excited about that. What is the next thing you're gonna do? I know I am. I can't wait to see what you create. I can't wait to see the way you connect this. So get out there, volunteer, help. Be the best version of yourself. When you have doubt, be your biggest fan. Yes, be your biggest fan. I'm saying sit there and believe that you can do something, you can make a difference, and go out there and do it. So with that said, a tip I had again, I, I applaud you, and I hope to see all the great things that you can do in the future come true. And if you ever need help, feel free to reach out. Take care. Thank you. Listen to these next students and their messages for the class of 2020. Ethan DeGrandis, Jack Denunzio, and Jaden Schlerf. One of the biggest life lessons that school has taught me is living in the moment, and this year hasn't been anything but about living in the moment. Think back to last year with prom. Everyone there was having a fun time, but in the back of everyone's heads, everyone was thinking about what they do differently for next year's ball. But, as we all know, that would never happen. We didn't know that, though, and we all just marched into our senior year, looking forward to the last couple of months ahead to events such as grad walk, senior breakfast, senior ball, and obviously graduation. The year was going great until everything came to a grinding halt on March 13th, which was also a Friday, proving to be a pretty unlucky day, if you ask me. We didn't know it then, but that'd be the last day of school we would ever have as a, as a senior at Hilton High School. Like almost every kid I talked to, I was happy to be getting a so-called coronacation. However, the weeks turned into a month, and then a month turned into the rest of the year, and at that point, I realized how I wished we never got time off. Being with my friends and even seeing teachers were things I missed immensely. But this led me to understand once again how important living in the moment is in life. As Wayne Gretzky once said, every shot not taken is a goal not scored. This idea can be applied to every day in every aspect. My dad and I always used to love to see movies together. So one night we went to the movies with my friend and his dad. We had a great time, but I didn't know that'd be the last time I'd ever get to talk to my dad. After that night, I realized that I had to live every day like it's my last because you never know when something's going to happen. And the whole situation with coronavirus has taught me this lesson even more. In times like this, we need to live by this idea because you never know when the last of a thing will be. Born out of the ashes of 9-11 and finishing our high school years in the midst of a worldwide pandemic, our class is nothing short of tough. When life throws us curveballs, the only thing we make from them our memories, showing our will to succeed and thrive in the world at any given moment. Hello and congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Jack Denunzio from Ronskoid High School, and I have a few words I'd like to share with you all. We finally made it, and now is the time to celebrate everything that has brought us to this point. It's crazy to think how fast time goes by. There's a funny saying that says, the days go by slow and the years go by fast. And I know we can all relate to this. We've all stared at the clock for two hours, when in reality, only five minutes have gone by. And we've all also been shocked when it's time to study for finals and APs, and it feels like the first day of school was only weeks ago. So here we all stand today, four years later, in a world of uncertainty and a time of change. We've all grown immensely during these past few years as we transition into a new chapter of our lives, ready to take on the world. We all wish to succeed in life and wish to see the world become a better place. And if I can give one piece of advice that would help each and every one of us achieve this goal, it would be to look internally. It's easy to think that our voices don't make a difference. It's easy to distance ourselves from the world's problems, and it's easy to be bystanders even in our own lives. However, this is not us. We are the class of 2020, born into the world of 9-11 and entering adulthood during a global pandemic. We can make a difference, and our future success is in our own hands. However, 
We all know that success is not an overnight thing. We've grown as people. We've put in countless hours of work into our passions, ranging from academics to sports to music to reach high levels of success. So let's keep our heads strong, not focusing on too much of the negativity in the world, but instead focusing on our passions with all of our hearts. Step by step, a path to a better life, a better future, and a better world are now in our hands. With all this said, let's take charge in our own lives, our own futures, be the best people we can be, and always know who we are. So here's to the priceless relationships made, the unforgettable memories, and all the growth that has gotten us to this point. Good luck, class of 2020. It's been quite the ride. Hello, everyone. My name is Jaden Schlerf, and I am the valedictorian of Spencerport High School's class of 2020. I just wanted to start out by simply saying congratulations to class of 2020 graduates everywhere, both of high school and of college. Graduating is a major accomplishment, perhaps one of the greatest ones in most of our young lives, and every single member of the class of 2020 deserves recognition for this crucial milestone. Unfortunately, we won't get that recognition in the traditional format that we've all dreamed about for the majority of our lives. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, all of our senior years, our most anticipated, treasured, and memorable final year at our academic institution was untimely and adversely cut short. Perhaps the best part of our academic careers, the culmination of countless years of hard work, all leading up to the most sought after time in our lives, was stripped away. There's nothing we could do about it. However, these past few months have not all been solemn. In fact, the exact opposite. These past few months have demonstrated how strong, close, and resilient the class of 2020 really is. Through all the Zoom calls, online classes, door decorating contests, social media posts, and drive-by celebrations, members of the class of 2020 have still managed to find a way to connect with each other to make each and every one of our senior years the most memorable. And it just goes to show how our class of 2020 is just that much more special. Not even a global pandemic could keep us from finding ways to celebrate and interact with our classmates and friends that we have grown up with and impacted for the past 18 years of our lives. This just makes me that much more honored and proud to be a part of this great, special, and perfect class of 2020. So, thank you, congratulations to graduates everywhere, and go Rangers. Hey everybody, I'm Deborah Norville from Inside Edition. Really, really understand just how different this commencement season is for you. My daughter's also graduating right now. And while this is not the commencement anybody thought about, I hope you take pride in knowing that you did it, you got it across the line, you have graduated, and you have an amazing future ahead. This is just one small bump in the road, and the road ahead is long and bright and fabulous, so make the most of it. Congratulations. I'm Michelle Miller. Congratulations, class of 2020. Best of luck to you on the road ahead. Wherever your talents may take you, even though this may not be how you wanted to end your school year, take a moment to remember all the good things and the fun times you shared with family and friends. We know big things are in your future, so congratulations from everyone here at CBS This Morning, Saturday. This is the Visions Federal Credit Union and Roberts Wesleyan College Class of 2020 Honor Roll Graduation Special on WROC. Hi, to the Class of 2020. I'm Time Muse, President and CEO of Visions Federal Credit Union, and it's my privilege to say congratulations. I'm just so proud. And this community have weathered the storms together. When COVID hit, we started reorganizing to do our takeouts, delivery. We'll be doing a food bank and you can feed a family by donating a family meal by going to our website, sylviasrestaurant.com. They're gonna be okay. And I'm just trying to make sure that we're doing our part as a bank. We're gonna keep the community fed.
What makes you crave Tom Wall? Besides delicious burgers and fries, it just might be our tasty treats, our homemade root beer floats, our milkshakes, and our generous sized ice cream cones. Tom Walls. I was hit by a semi truck. Jennifer's whole life was wrecked after this crash. I was in pain, I couldn't work, no income, and I was very scared. It, it was very life altering. Jennifer needed money. Someone told her to settle for the insurance company's lowball offer. The bills don't stop. They keep coming every day. They're not going to tell us what your life is worth. They gave me the power to fight back and win. We can do the same for you. Hurt in a car, call William Attar. 444-4444. DC Media Connection is a boutique media firm. After COVID, we had to restructure how we were doing things. And so the first thing that I did was called my banker. The process was making sure they got the resources they needed. With the PPP, Lou gave me that push to go and apply. I do everything I can to make sure small businesses don't get left behind. I am so grateful for all of the assistance that you pour into my business. News 8 on WROC is now the fastest growing evening and late local news. Federal Credit Union and Roberts Wesleyan College Class of 2020 Honor Roll Graduation Special continues on WROC. Welcome back to our celebration of the Class of 2020. Our next speaker is affectionately known as Mr. Amherst, leading the franchise in points and games played. We're talking about local hockey legend Jody Gage. Class of 2020, I know your parents, family, Friends, classmates, and teachers must be proud of you, and so, so they should. I know when my kids graduated, I was so proud of them. I know uh, you've been dealt a bad hand right now, and it's, uh, it's uh, difficult with this COVID-19. It's time to move on and make the best of it. Don't let it define you, own it. I know uh, back when my grandparents were younger, they used to always talk about the Great Depression and how tough and difficult it was and the struggles that they went through. And I remember them always explaining that uh, when they got married, all they had was a nickel. So with that nickel, they bought, a, bought one bottle of Coke with two straws and uh, enjoyed their evening with it, went back to their separate homes. And uh, as time went on for their 50th wedding anniversary, we decided to give them the proper wedding. And uh, they always talk about how great their struggles were, but how strong it made them through their, their marriage. As you go down to this next journey, make sure you take some time to reflect on the journey you just took. Go over your strengths, your weaknesses, your successes, your difficulties, your struggles, your weaknesses. Uh, when I played after every game, after every season, every playoff series, always reflected and take a, took a moment to reflect on how I played. I always started with a positive, you know, what I did right, what, what I was doing good, and then I'd move into, you know, what were my weaknesses and how, how uh, I struggled that game. And I always finished off with another positive. And that all started for my dad when I was playing. He was just a very positive person and always would do two positives for one negative. And he felt the positive, starting off with the positive, was, was, was good and also finishing off with it. As you go for your next path journey, make, make sure you follow your dreams. And usually your dreams come from your passions and your love. I know when I was dreaming about becoming a professional hockey player, that's the one thing looking back, I was passionate about it. I loved the game of hockey and still do. And uh, I know when I was 16, I was going to leave, leave home to pursue my junior hockey career. It, it was uh, very hard for my parents and struggled with letting me go. But with their support, they knew it was my dream. And all along the way, they were supportive of me following my dream. And uh, failures are important to recognize. It's not always the easy path that you take that's going to get you. A lot of great, successful people have uh, they talk about their failures and how they became successful. So as you take this next journey, good luck, stay healthy, and all my best wishes. We go now to three more seniors at the top of their class, wishing the best of luck to students across our area. Caitlin Weeks, Margot Eller, and Megan Patrick. Like all graduations, today is bittersweet. But for us, the class of 2020, 
this bittersweet feeling is new and perhaps more poignant. Facing something so unprecedented, we find ourselves in uncharted territory, forcing us to say goodbye in ways we had never imagined. For many of us, our childhood feels like a sentence, lacking an ending, leading us to question now more than ever, what's next? The answer, anything. We, the class of 2020, who find ourselves at the precipice of adulthood will enter the real world more than ready to conquer any challenge. Our innovation carrying us through anything we set our mind to and our resilience giving us the strength to fight any future adversity. So, to my fellow graduates, although it wasn't the way we had planned it, I hope you were still able to embrace your achievement. At the end of the day, you are a graduate of the class of 2020, and nothing can take that away from you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Margot Aller, and I'm from Minders Academy High School in Seneca Falls, New York. The class of 2020 is no stranger to challenging times. We were born on the heels of 9-11, and here we are graduating during a health pandemic and racial epidemic. Our first 18 years are bookended by frightening and challenging historical events. Yet here we are, the class of 2020, remaining resilient. Despite not being able to finish our senior year in the safety of our schools, we are doing it anyways. The class of 2020 is uniquely special. We are standing strong, united, and filled with the desire to tackle the world's problems with open and peaceful arms. Many of us are probably uncertain about what the future holds, and I'm not just talking about the what do you want to do with the rest of your life question. Some of us don't know if we will be able to go to college, continue to learn online, join the workforce, or enlist in the military. There are so many unknowns. I may just be an 18 year old that is approaching graduation, but I'm here to say that it is okay to be unsure. If there is one thing I am certain about my future, it is that I want to live a life where I can follow my heart and intuition to help benefit others. I want to be surrounded by like-minded, positive thinking individuals that can collaborate, support, and lift each other up. And I am proud to say that with the class of 2020, I am already living that life. So I say to all 2020 grads, let us unite. Let us be the light that this world so desperately needs. Let us take hold of our future to make the world a safe, positive, and kind place for everyone. We grieve together for the loss of what was supposed to be the best year of high school. We grieve for everyone affected by COVID-19, and we grieve for George Floyd, his family, and all of those affected by racial inequality. The world might seem so dark right now, but we must remember that the world is a beautiful place that is awaiting the class of 2020 to emerge and make positive change. It's up to us to turn grieving into healing. Lastly, to all healthcare and essential workers, teachers, administrators, and families, the class of 2020 thanks you for all of your selfless work. I hope that you and your families remain safe, healthy, and happy. Our time is now, so let's show the world what 2020 is made of. Thank My fellow you. 2020 graduates, the challenges and adversity we have faced growing up have given us the strength and resilience we never knew was possible. The class of 2020 was born around the tragic events of 9-11, and now we are graduating during the coronavirus. We survived both of these life-changing events. The world we live in is a scary place. If we want change in our world, we are the ones that will need to make it happen. It is important, now more than ever, to use your, our voices and speak out. We can no longer be silent. We must fight for things such as civil rights, equality for all, and our environment. Do not be afraid to be heard. People might silence you. Speak louder. Comedian Jim Carrey once said, you can fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. Why waste time on something you don't want when you could spend it doing something that you're passionate about? Do not be afraid of failing. It's going to happen. Get back up and try again. Each failure can teach you something about yourself. Build strength and knowledge and try again with more determination than ever. Failures aren't failures, they are life lessons. They are inevitable in our life, so use them to your advantage. The obstacles in your way may put you on a path to something even better. Use that resiliency, fearlessness, and strength to overcome adversity. In this game of life, make sure you are doing what you love and truly care about. 
As we go into the world and start our next adventure, no two journeys will be the same. Life may not go as expected or how we planned. We have learned from 9-11 and this pandemic alone that there are problems and inequalities in the world that we will face. It is up to us and our generation to make a change. We must do something, whatever we can and wherever we are. Class of 2020, continue on with strength, keep moving forward, keep fighting for what you believe in. Create your own journey. Thank you. Hello to you, I'm Gail King, here to say bravo to you, class of 2020. Best of luck to you on the road ahead, wherever your talents may take you, and you know you've all got talents. So this is a deal. This is certainly not the way you wanted to end your school year. We all get that. So how about this? Take a minute to remember all of the good things. You know you had good things. Fun times that you shared with your family and friends, you had a lot of those. And we know that there are big, big things in your future. Did you hear what I said? big, big, big things. So congratulations and well done from everyone here at CBS This Morning. Hi there, class of 2020. I'm Dana Jacobson with CBS This Morning Saturday. We know your school year didn't end as you had hoped, but don't forget all that you accomplished along the way. And we can't wait to see what's next. So take a minute to celebrate as you begin your next chapter. This is the Visions Federal Credit Union and Roberts Wesleyan College Class of 2020 Honor Roll Graduation Special on WROC. Partners like Visions Federal Credit Union are so important to the work that David's Refuge does in this community. A community that Visions is a part of and committed to helping. Since 2012, we have worked to provide respite services, resources, and support to parents of children with special needs or life-threatening illnesses. Our goal is to empower caregivers to lead their families with strength and grace. And we're able to do all of this because Visions cares. Our lives are filled with seconds, and those seconds are marking minute-by-minute minute moments that are constantly in formation. But at Roberts, we are for transformation. We are all being formed, changed, molded, and developed into something. We are all becoming, being drawn to a life of more. What if we can align the distance between our heart and mind and truly discover all that our lives had in store? Beth Parlato can't be trusted. False negative ads. Lies about President Trump. We need real leaders like Chris Jacobs and President Trump to get our economy back on track. Chris Jacobs is a job creator. He'll get tough with China and bring jobs back home. He fights for Western New York jobs. President Trump gave Chris Jacobs his complete and total endorsement. Trump approved. Chris Jacobs for Congress. I'm Chris Jacobs and I approve this message. They haven't quite reinvented the wheel, but wait till you see what they've done with bikes. See the all-new e-bikes at Burt's Bikes and Fitness. They ride like standard bikes, but have a power assist for when you need it. Keep up with other riders. Tackle hills you might not have tried before. Ride farther than ever. Get back that old wind-in-your-hair feeling. Try out an e-bike at Burt's. Burt's Bikes and Fitness. Orchard Park, Tonawanda, Williamsville, Henrietta, and Webster. Getting back to normal may still take a while, but some things really can't wait. And fortunately, they don't all have to. If you were injured in a car crash or other accident, you can't afford to wait for the legal help you need. At William Matar, we're safely helping accident victims like you right now, 24 seven nights and weekends. We're always just a call or click away. Hurt in a car? Call William Matar, 585-444-4444. Like getting back out there? Nissan is ready to help you with a bold, award-winning lineup and great offers. Kick off summer with a low $189 per month lease on the 2020 Nissan Rogue. Or lease the 2020 Nissan Sentra just $149 per month. Federal Credit Union and Roberts Wesleyan College Class of 2020 Honor Roll Graduation Special continues on WROC. Welcome back. As we wrap up this salute to our local high school seniors, let's hear from four more valedictorians. Rounding out the program is Olivia Morse, Rachel Ramsdell, Sam Arntz, and Sophia J. Corretto. 
Hello, class of 2020. My name is Olivia Morris, and I'm the valedictorian of Romulus Central School. I've been waiting for this moment for a lifetime, but I can say with 100% certainty that this was not what I was expecting. But while we're here, I would like to talk to you about grief and resilience, and about the process of grieving and how to get back to normal. This coronavirus pandemic has taken so much from the class of 2020. Many people have lost loved ones or watched as their families and friends fought against an invisible killer. I'm lucky enough to say that I do not personally know anyone who has been killed by the coronavirus. And that is something I am beyond grateful for. One thing that I found myself struggling with over these past few months is mental health. I was upset that this pandemic had taken so much from me. I wouldn't be able to dance with my boyfriend at prom one last time before moving off to college. And I wouldn't get to see the smiles on my grandparents' faces as I walk across the stage. I wouldn't be able to give my valedictorian speech in front of my community. But I held all of my feelings inside. People are dying, I thought. Being upset about something as small as prom and graduation is selfish. But the truth is, these things taken from us were so big. We've been waiting for these moments our whole lives, and we are allowed to grieve. In order for us to move forward, we need to grieve this loss. The class of 2020 is a strong and resilient group of young adults. We've done so much to keep things running smoothly, and I am so proud of everything that we have accomplished. But don't forget to take a moment to process your grief. Even if you don't feel like you have these feelings, grieving our losses will allow us to move on with our lives. We've grown so much stronger since this pandemic, and I am sure that each and every one of you will go on to do amazing things, whether you're going to college, into the workforce, or anything else you set your mind to. I'm so proud to be a member of the class of 2020, and I know that we will be the ones to change the world. Hello, everyone. I am Rachel Ramsdell, the valedictorian in Williamson's class of 2020. Do you remember dreaming of being a senior and finally graduating? Now that dream came true, so indulge on all the satisfaction that comes with achieving your goals and living the dream. Enjoy your time, for life is too short to not allow yourself to be happy. Be excited, be overjoyed, be ecstatic. Who cares if you didn't have a normal senior year? You made it, and that's all that matters. In the words of Henry David Thoreau, it is not what you look at that matters, it is what you see. You could choose to be bitter about how your senior year turned out, or you could choose to be thankful for the special circumstances. The choice is yours, so make the most out of the cards you are dealt. Just do your best, and remember that happiness is not determined by external factors. It is produced within yourself. The world could be crumbling all around you, like it seemed to be earlier this year, and you can still choose to remain happy and composed. Find the good in everything, because there is good in everything. And you are in complete control of your happiness. No one can ever take that away from you. Also note that you are the only person you will be with every single day of your life. So create the person you want to spend every single day of your life with. When you do that, please do not listen to society. Everything in society contradicts itself. You are told to be this, to be that, to do this, to do that. Forget about all of that. The only person you are supposed to be is yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what is right, because what feels right is what is truly right for you. And that's what is right. You have a purpose in this world, and you need to follow it. You are special, and you have a special purpose. So follow it. Listen to your heart. Feel the fire burning within you and follow it. Live your dream. Live your truth. You are in complete control of your life, and you can create the life you desire with the power within you. Hello. My name is Sam Arts from Haverling Senior High School here in Bath, New York, and I'd like to congratulate my fellow graduates on a job well done. Completing our last and arguably most rigorous year of high school while adapting to the changes brought upon us by the COVID-19 pandemic speaks to the collective strength and determination of our class. While staying home to protect our at-risk friends and family, we have revolutionized the future of education. However, like all of us, I am disappointed that we could not participate in our final sporting events, concerts, or special senior activities. And I know this year has lacked some of the closure that we expected and deserve. Even so, the future is bright and our best is yet to come. 
This class will produce the strongest and most empathetic college students, military personnel, and members of our workforce. Because we've learned how to persevere and take care of each other when times get tough. Lastly, we will not be forgotten, for we are the class of 2020, and our success will speak for ourselves. Hello, my name is Sophia Credo, and I'm the valedictorian for the Hornell High School class of 2020. Today, I'd like to share a message with all of you. Four months ago, my routine was simple. I would wake up around five in the morning, go to the gym, come home, shower, and eat breakfast. Then it was off to school. Six hours later, school would be over, and I would go to track practice. After that, I would rush home to eat dinner, shower, do my homework, and fall asleep. Then, the whole routine would start over again the next day. On the weekends, I would spend it with my friends and family. We would eat out at restaurants, go to the mall, or go to the movies, but we would mostly just hang out and have fun. Now, this could not be farther from my reality. While in school, it was a race against time to get everything that I needed to get done without falling behind or missing a single thing. On the weekends, I took being able to do those things with my friends and family for granted. Now, I miss it more than anything. The saying that you don't realize what you've got until it's gone thrives during these times. I would have never expected there to come a day when I would not be allowed to go to school, not be allowed to be a part of a team, not be allowed to hang out with many of my friends, or not even be allowed to walk into a store without wearing a face mask. Although I wish all of this had never happened, it has taught me an important lesson. Normal is entirely okay and should be embraced. Also, take time to enjoy the little things. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Tony DeCopel, of course. I want to say from everyone here at CBS This Morning, we know your school year did not exactly end as you may have expected, but you've already accomplished so much, and we cannot wait to see what you're going to do next. So take a minute, take two minutes even, and celebrate as you begin your next chapter. Thank you so much for joining us for this special celebration of the class of 2020. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the pictures of so many graduating seniors from across the area and hearing from local leaders and some of the leaders of the future. Have a great evening. Thank you for watching the class of 2020 honor roll graduation special. In case you missed any of it or would like to see it again, find it at rochesterfirst.com.